to my channel so this is the part 3 of the flight app series till now we have completed uh, this screen okay in part 1 and part 2 now today's focus will be completing this screen complete and uh, let's start before that uh, I would like to uh, thank you uh, for subscribing the channel and uh, giving the feedback so it's very beneficial for me and uh, uh, one guy has asked me that uh, how to add a scrolling content uh, means make this screen scrollable so let me do it right now so we are in our main.dart so uh, here we have added custom shape clipper and uh, this goes in the stack and this is the top part so this whole thing uh, is in a column directly now what happens if you add uh, another uh, currently watched items section like uh, uh, this one so this complete is home bottom if you add one more uh, to the screen it will be a, a, a high uh, content will be more than the screen size so let's see how it uh, functions there so as you can see uh, the bottom overflowed by 256 pixels this is a rendering error which is being shown by the flutter SDK so what we have to do we have to wrap this column in single child scroll view and that's it uh, also you can give a direction scroll direction now you can see wait a second so now you can see this is scrollable did you get the idea so uh, this is it and now we will be uh, working on this screen <coughs> why we have not taken a list view because it's not required right now and a scroll view is more uh, raw way of uh, adding a scroll view so we have added it here and uh, yeah also uh, there was a question how we can move this whole content to the app bar so i will be working on that and uh, updating you with uh, with the answers so let's head on to the flight listing page which is like this okay so uh, saying about this screen we have a simple app bar here and below that it's a, a same our custom shape clipper which will be holding a card view on top of that and then there will be a bottom part which will have a list so this screen can be made like this uh, this will be top view same way this will be top view and this will be the bottom part so let's start in the flight list also i have already uh, used i have already uh, started writing some colors which are actually uh, this is a discount background color uh, which will be this one the background color of this box if i can zoom it yeah so basically this color okay and uh, second color is uh, flight border color so um, this is actually a color of this border okay and third color is the background of this card chip okay which is chip background color so let's start with the scaffold uh, here we will use app bar okay so uh, app bar can be declared like this simple title will be search result we have to give text widget so it will be a search result and uh, yeah okay and the title is in center so we have to center title to and icon leading okay so this is a icon which will be back button so we will directly put it icon icon start back okay and uh, this we have to actually um, make a click make clickable so that whenever when we whenever we press this button it actually uh, takes back us to the previous screen so we have added a, a ink well which has a, a method called on tap which is very helpful so anything which is tappable can be made uh, uh, tappable like this okay so when we can simply call navigator dot and context will be same that's it 
so <clears throat> uh, let's uh, now uh, one more thing when we click on this search button it should go to the second screen right so let's edit our main dot dart which is this screen and uh, oh, where is the search so this is a search icon let's again uh, make it clickable by wrapping with inkwell and using on tap so here you can uh, use navigator dot push which takes context and a root so root can be material page root i am thinking to uh, create a tutorial on uh, all the type of roots as well uh, like cupertino page root and material page root so i will be planning that as well and the builder can be can, is uh, taking again context and we can write a single line here which will be calling the flight list uh, this uh, this uh, widget it, it will be calling so let's uh, call it flight uh, list listing screen and yeah so uh, this will show an error because we have not implemented it imported it and let's see what happens so this is the method which navigates let's run it hot uh, flutter hot restart and uh, let's click on this and as you can see we have got a search result and on clicking on back button we get uh, we get back to the uh, main screen okay now let's start working on the uh, below content um, okay so this was our app bar now we have to give a body and body can be um, okay let's start with a uh, raw, raw drawing so uh, we have a column basically okay and uh, we have maybe uh, right now we will have only one children one child uh, and uh, that will be again a uh, flight list top part so let's name it like this you can give any uh, better name as well and let's create this stateless widget why we need stateless here why we are not taking it in a variable because uh, the things which will come into the fields uh, these fields boston new york jfk when we go uh, when we also implement backend in the app so it will come uh, at the at runtime it will be not a static thing so we should write it in a, in a stateless widget okay or a stateful whatever is required so uh, let's take that in consideration and move forward okay so that's why we are move, uh, creating stateless stateless widget so this is flight list okay so and this uh, what it is happening uh, <clears throat> this is a material first of all okay elevation 10 we can give and child will be a container or uh, yeah let's take oh first of all uh, we should add a stack so let's remove it add a stack for uh, background for the curvy background that we have and uh, children will be first of all on at back side it will be a so it will be a clip path similar to main dot dart and clipper will be our custom shape clipper uh, we have to import that as well okay this we have already worked on in main dot dot main dot dot and height will be okay height cannot be given so we can give a child which will be a container and uh, this height can be given here 190 or maybe 160 so yeah let's see how it looks okay why okay nothing has been shown okay 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 so let me see what is the issue this container height clip path maybe okay 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 so actually uh, we have to also give the colors and all so right now color is not there colors dot gray let's try yeah so it has come now as you know we have to take the gradient here so we have to use decoration okay 
and using the gradient same gradient as in this so we will search for the gradient and I guess uh, it is somewhere at the top so let's search for custom shape clipper basically uh, I personally believe this should be moved to a more common code so we will uh, definitely I will think of it uh, some better way but right now this is the way and we have added the okay sorry we have added the linear gradient and uh, maybe we have to add this okay so first color and second color okay so why they are not uh, visible here because we have not imported main dot art in it. and this first color and second color actually are declared in this file as you can see these two same colors we have used so these all things can be maintained in a separate file as well and which will be uh, making our code more clearer so this is the decoration okay what's the issue okay okay so something is wrong okay so we have not added a comma here and that's all the issue let's run it and now you can see it's a curvy background has come but uh, our app bar is having some elevation so let's uh, reduce this elevation to 0, 0.0 and now it's looking good now add a second layer to this stack so it will be a rounded box container okay now we will be creating this okay so first of all okay um yeah um let's take another child so let's take a uh, directly we can take a container or or we can take a card which will be having elevation already so this is the elevation and child will be a container okay and uh, it's uh, this container will actually uh, the child of which uh, will be a column which uh, so uh, till where we have moved with this code uh, we have actually created uh, this column okay so we will be dividing this into a row which will have first this item second this item and then we will be having these three items in a column okay so let's actually first define a row okay and its children will be um, say uh, uh, first will be a column <coughs> which will have a text sorry okay so this text will be Boston Yes, and style will be something uh, font size maybe uh, 14 dot 16 dot okay and uh, second will be a divider so let's have a divider here uh, whose um, uh, color will be something related to colors dot gray and uh, text again uh, the second city so this will be actually dynamic when we add a backend to this New York City JFK and style will be uh, fully similar but uh, this will be in bold as per the design spec so weight will be font weight dot bold okay right let's run how it is looking so this is like this and uh, so uh, this card should be having some padding okay so let's wrap in uh, some padding or give it a margin so uh, we can yeah uh, we can give a padding to this or can we get a margin yeah, so margin is a better way instead of uh, again instead of uh, wrapping this whole card into a padding widget so we can add a margin as well so margin will be it will be only a horizontal which will have 16.0 uh, 
so let's see how it looks okay there uh, this box has some uh, gap below the app bar so let's call it 20 and let's add so for this gap what we can do we can move this card in a column and the sized box will be here and below that it will be this so let's add wrap it in the column and add a child called sides sized box with height of 20 so yeah it has moved down uh, let's um, add some padding to this so that these things are not aligned as per the design spec there is a gap sufficient amount of gap both the sides as well as on the top so let's take it 16 inside the card so I think it's content padding somewhere it's not there okay so let's um, this is margin okay let's add uh, to this to this inner container inside the card it will be something on 16.0 okay it has come into center now um, let's add all the things uh, let's uh, complete this row which is already having first item and the second item is missing so also we cannot see the divider why because so maybe height okay maybe color or something okay there is no color color it's not working yet so why it's not working anyways uh, let me look at it later so adding into this row another item like this okay so row will uh, this will be a uh, image icons dot import export color will be icon grayish let's see. okay it's black let's see how it looks okay it has come uh, just near to the so our row is complete but uh, we need to expand this row so let's give the size it's like this and also alignment so we will stretch space between we will add a space between and uh, also uh, we have to uh, give uh, see um, where is the line by the way let me check look at the line afterwards uh, uh, okay so uh, let's move it uh, to left side so how this can be uh, we will align alignment to this column uh, let's add uh, main axis alignment to space between or center so both these are in center and cross axis alignment as start so this is start set to start and also we have forgotten to add the radius to this card so let's add a shape and it will be a rounded rectangle border which will have a border radius of uh, maybe whatever we are taking in a whole of the app so it can be 15 or 16 let's take it 16 okay something wrong so let's take in the radius circular 16 part. so as you can see the card is okay okay and uh, uh, let's um, so this column is done this icon is done is it okay other than the line okay but uh, this uh, card has to be a little bit bottom plus the height is little bit more so what we can do is either we can add more padding at the top so this can be symmetrical where horizontal is 16 and vertical is 20 so we have added it and uh, 22 we can so now it looks pretty much similar to this ui okay but this icon size is again it's a uh, small and this card radius is too much so let's reduce it to 10 
and uh, icon size also we can change so size will be 24 i guess no it's not there 28 yeah so it's increased let's keep it 32 this is okay okay this little bit okay we can consider it and let's work on the bottom part then but uh, why that line has not come um, i will check and uh, a uh, bit uh, uh, work around about this so uh, let me uh, throw away a, a use case or a issue which can come actually if the city name is too long okay for the right design now the correct design it will it will show like this but this should not be the case so we have to tell our column we have to tell this column how much it can take this space and as per the design spec i think it can take up to this or maximum yeah it can take up to this so we should wrap it around a expanded widget and give it a weight by using flex okay so that it can take five and this icon uh, we can leave it as it as is, as it is so it, it it looks like this but again as you can see this takes uh, this much space why because we have not given any flex to this so let's uh, put it also under uh, expanded and uh, let's wrap it with uh, give it a value of one okay so now you can see the screen is again divided now uh, we can actually add a spacer now you can see this takes uh, almost uh, of a heavier uh, five times space of this and the remaining space of is this spacer okay so uh, this works like uh, uh, the, as expected and now uh, the city name can be anything okay so uh, and line also has come because when we are using expanded it is working and let us remove the space between so it works uh, I, I, I think you are a bit aware of flex if you are not then um, uh, you can get fair bit idea here and let's reduce the text so it looks a uh, cool now and let's work on the bottom part now so uh, if you have any doubts on this part please let me know please let me know in the comment section and let's work on the flights bottom part right listing bottom part okay let's uh, work on this flight listing bottom part so how we can go we can uh, go in similar way like we uh, went in the main dot dot let's uh, do it and uh, add a padding why because um, there is a constant padding here okay so let's add padding here. Imagine sets to uh, symmetry horizontal 16, which is I guess default. And uh, yeah, now let's add a column or, or, or wait, wait, wait. We have to take only left because on right side it's almost zero, as you can see right is almost zero so we'll just take it so and now whenever we create this list it will be aligned to this mm. and uh, let's write this text so we have to take a column take a column so first child it, it's the style is same to this currently washed item so we can completely copy this and use it here the text will be changed so it will be best deals for next six months okay hmm. so this is the column and uh, it should start from left now let's run it so we have got this and uh, which it comes into center 
so let's um let me check through what inspector so this text itself is uh, this text itself is in center so okay nothing happened so leave it and uh, below this text uh, we need to add a sized box so that because there is a little bit gap so its height can be 10 and a flight card which we have to create why we are creating a stateless widget for this because it will be used multiple times let's uh, do it with first uh, right now okay so uh, what we can do uh, we will take it later and uh, in the video and uh, let's create this box first box then we will add into a list multiple entries so how we can do this uh, so let me first add a container which can have a color of grayish and uh, height as 100 just take it taking so that uh, you can get idea how much it is done so this is done Mm, as you can see this has already moved to left because since the child was uh, a single child so it took the center spot and uh, when the more uh, children were added uh, they uh, adjusted everything as you can see here uh, this gray box is uh, here it's starting from here and ending in uh, the right part of the screen so uh, let's first of all take a stack why because uh, this box is coming on top of this bordered rectangle okay so take a stack children and our first child will be this and um, yeah so so this will be in the background no need to add colors here so but uh, let's add a uh, what we say um mm, let's give a decoration to it or uh, first of all let's add some height decoration so color leave it and uh, border so border radius will be something 16 or 15 that is 10 and color of border that can be that can be defined by a border or okay so this will be a border color that we have already defined so color flight border color okay curve is provided and border is provided now let's um okay so let's add a child so this child will be basically a column containing two things first will be a row of these two prizes and uh, second item will be this one so let's add a row okay so children so first item will be a uh, text which will be again it's a formatted value so dollar format that we have decided defined in the main dot dot format or format currency dot uh, so like this we can use it format currency dot format which is defined in this file dot format and uh, price uh, actually it will be called like this so, price will be 
4159 or something let's look at here so it will be 4159 and the old price will be 9999 so 4159 and uh, style will be Texas style something 18 dot font size weight will be bold size will be 20 dot yeah similarly we can add another one which will be 9999 but as you can see which we have also missed in this uh, screen we did not give a, a strike through to this text so we have to add here that I will explain you right now so there will be a, uh, let me show you so you can actually give a decoration style or uh, this will be a I guess it's a decoration directly so which is given in okay so text decoration dot line through and this will do the work for us but not for this one it will be for this as well as its size will be maybe 16 little bit smaller and color will be grayish okay fine so it's a row okay let's see okay it looks like this uh, first of all let's move this inspector okay so one more thing this whole box has some padding from right side okay so let's add a padding to this box simple padding oh sorry and uh, from uh, uh, i guess from right side it should be it should be from oh okay 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 only and from right it should be 16 right this is not working where it will be it might be here okay, okay oh sorry we have added to a column so this is not right let's copy this and remove this and add here will the work oh, so i guess it's a margin yeah now it's here as you can see this thing now um, this is our column inside but uh, as its height is defined so we will adjust this later on but first of all uh, let's make this column a little bit uh, give some padding to it so that it comes uh, in the left uh, some padding should be there from left and right side so let's give it uh, every side we have to give okay um let's first try <coughs> or simply give it all okay now the second thing after the column after the row we will have have a, a list of details of the flights so what a new widget that i am going to tell you is wrap what this wrap will do it actually wraps the content if if actually let me tell you if i take a row simple row uh, for first and first time you will definitely go for row here but i will tell you why row is not a good thing so let me tell you let's add children so our first child will be this thing okay and uh, let's create that so uh, what I have thought is uh, since this is a dynamic thing so let's create a status which is for this and uh, let's create so let us let us call it flight uh, detail chip okay uh, and uh, the widget that we will use here is raw chip 
which is very uh, in, uh, crucial here because it has label it has avatar which can come in the top left hand side I said back it has background color and uh, most important thing it does not force us to implement on pressed and on selected it's done it does not force but if I take uh, input chip or a choice chip or a filter chip it forces us to uh, use um, on pressed or on uh, selected which we don't uh, require right now so this chip is not I means it, it is not to be selected by anything it's just a display chip so let's create this raw chip okay so uh, let's uh, first uh, create a uh, constructor so that it's a uh, dynamic it displays dynamic content so it will basically have a icon data and label okay let's create icon data and a label fine and uh, let's call it from this row flight details detail chip and first will be icon data so icons dot okay uh, it's a calendar today and uh, label will be let's call it june 2019 uh, second chip will be flight takeoff and let's call it jet airways and third will be a rating so text will be 4.4 and it's a star okay so we have actually called these three and uh, yeah now we have to define the chip so label will be it's a widget it takes a text and we just pass label here and label styling or label styling we can give the text style directly so color will be colors dot black and uh, wait sorry label style fine and uh, text size can be 14 okay label padding can be okay this i will explain you later why we need background color okay so color will be the chip color that we already defined above let's run or let's add avatar so icon and it will be icon data so let's run it and this has definitely some issues so that will be fixed so uh, as you can see uh, this issue has come finally so I was waiting for it uh, that's why row has an issue so let's uh, take it under a wrap wrap works in a way that it uh, and also we have defined the height so see now uh, but if you take row here what it will do it will actually put everything in a row and if there is no space it will show this error so wrap will uh, wrap the content in the second line or in the third line so for this only we have we have to use or we should use wrap in this case in this scenario only okay and you can give spacing in between of 8.0 right now let's see okay so it has come in between and uh, it's a uh, it's looking well um, uh, structured and uh, it will not fail so after adding the avatar we can actually can you see the shape of it it's it's more round let me give a darker color so you can see the shape so it's round but we have to give a custom shape to it because it's not round in the specs see it's not complete round okay so let's give it a shape rounded rectangular border and uh, 
radius will be radius dot circular mm -hmm. border radius and radius dot it can be 10 now it's okay so we can change the color back background and uh, one more thing that uh, it's uh, the size of the icons are very large so we can give the size as well it's looking like yeah it's nice now now uh, it should come into uh, in the left side okay so for that uh, can we play with this or we should add yeah so when we are adding this row or I must say this column so this columns responsibility is to align everything in the center uh, in the left side so we will give a cross axis so it has come in the left side now there is a small gap between these two text fields so we have added these two text fields um, I guess here so let's add a sized box of uh, some width that is 4.0 it has come and also there is a parenthesis surrounding our old price uh, what we start has failed so let's just start again okay so let's stop the app and run it again There is some issue. Okay, maybe maybe we have done something wrong. Yeah, so it uh, should uh, be okay. Should be here only. Or should it move into double quotes? No. Okay. So I'm running it again. Okay. Um, I got the issue. So why it's not running? Because uh, actually, it should be outside this, right? After dollar, it it will not work. So now it will not okay fine uh, and uh, can you reduce this spacing the spacing in between these two so for that i will explain you one thing that let's open the flutter inspector and click on this this row can you see this extra padding this padding comes directly in the row okay so you have to uh, provide a hack here you can add a padding which will work in negative direction because it already has a um, uh, padding of uh, 8 by default I guess so let's uh, no 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 so what's the issue Submit, no. all minus 4 auto. let's see if it works so no this is not the padding uh, it's actually um, not the issue with the row chip or uh, yeah it's fine but uh, so it uh, the row chip directly has a padding and uh, see this so, so what you can do is um, now you can leave it as it is that's that will not be much issue but this spacing can be a can be a thing so run spacing you can give 8.0 can you see it has moved uh, some some stuff top so let me again change the background color start back let's run it and remove this inspector see this it has come little bit closer and if you go into inspector it has it is just touching the row. so it it was actually eight the value was eight so also you can uh, see it in running when i remove this line 
see this there is extra space here and when I add this line the space is gone so you can use it it's a hack run spacing uh, basically runs in the vertical direction and wrapping uh, here spacing works in the uh, horizontal direction also you can give the direction so it will completely change the roles it's a default horizontal that's why spacing is working in horizontal direction and run spacing is working in vertical directions okay okay now let's add the right bottom part here so let's screen size we have to increase a little bit so this is a stack and its first child was this container which has taken complete code and on top of that there will be a container with a child and with a text of 55 percentage and the style will be color like app theme which is declared in our main dot dot and size will be something called 14 inside this 14.0 and uh, yeah it should be a position widget because we are placing it on a stack so we can use position and it will be from top it will be 10 and right it will be 0 and uh, as you can see this flight card is completely uh, I will explain you once more it's completely starting from here this flight card so flight card is this much and uh, stack has two elements first element and the uh, okay right now it's not running so second element will also come here and it will start from stack so this position will work and let's see okay let me take it out so this is 55 percent and now we have to give a uh, definitely a box decoration which will have color of discount uh, background color and uh, some padding because it will be uh, wrapped around it okay so we have to also give some shape so let's give a rounded shape rounded rectangular border with border radius of okay okay so this will be working border radius so it will be something 10 i guess and uh, the color of which will be this and uh, yeah it will be bold as well font weight bold and uh, yes some padding so I guess horizontal should be more and vertical will be less so 8 and 4 we will be going with and now you can see it's looking very much clear can you see this the color definitely it's different so I have not exactly matched the color but it's good now we can make it uh, even lighter but that's not an issue now uh, you can see this best deals for next six months is having it should have a little bit padding so let's add a padding to it and then we will move into the main part of the screen the scrolling thing okay it actually I learned a lot while uh, doing the scrolling so let's add a left uh, symmetric why I take symmetric because um, it's good to provide both the sides of uh, uh, paddings so that it looks good as well as the, it there is a space in between uh, as you can see here so 20 we can take so we will add a sized box in between our two parts of the screen top part and bottom part so height is 20 and now we are good to go now in the flight list in bottom part we have taken only flight card it will work if we do like this we add multiple cards it will work but it won't work when you add um, multiple parts because there is no uh, uh, one more thing 
uh, yeah first of all so when you add multiple elements it, since this this is not a scrollable screen so this error will come that bottom overflowed by 380 pixels if you remove three cards it will i guess it will work yeah but this is not the case every time so it has to be in a list view before that uh, there is a there should be a gap so this gap is a responsibility of slide card itself so let's add some padding to it uh, and most probably it will be a vertical padding symmetric and vertical so it should be eight only it will be sufficient okay but these flight cards should be in the list view because when we uh, do the dynamic parts uh, <coughs> this will be coming through a service or a data so th this is not a static and uh, list view dot builder method will be used then so we should go with list view and directions we can take access dot vertical okay so as you can see nothing is displayed here and why is it why is it so okay let's work on this because i guess shrink wrap should be used okay so now why it is showing issues because again this whole thing is not in uh, uh, i must say is not in a scrollable uh, container so let's add a scrollable container single child where we are adding a scrollable container to this whole screen below the app bar in our body and direction will be axis dot vertical now let's see so now it's little bit scrollable okay but this whole screen is not getting scrolled why because uh, one more thing yeah so this is getting scrolled but why it is not getting scrolled uh, whole screen we have to use physics for the uh, inner list view so that will be a clamping physics that's it so now whole screen is scrolling can you see this it is scrolling like this okay obviously uh, it's weird so let's try something now let's try another type of physics fixed extent let's, let's see what is the, what it does no so as i am running in ios this is working like this but if i run in android it won't work like this i have actually checked it and uh, let's see what it does it's working always like this so let's use clamping only okay okay is it actually uh, it's uh, okay we can consider it for the right now but obviously i will be uh, changing it i will be updating the things so uh, i guess uh, we are done with the screen or something is left um no so definitely uh, i will be uh, updating this app with the custom results custom out uh, data so this whole things will not be there and we can add multiple flight cards as well as you can see now it has six elements and it's a scroll it is crossed like this so yeah uh, so definitely in uh, for specifically for this app uh, I will be doing it with fire restore the data will be coming from fire restore definitely and these all the things will become dynamic okay so this is the end of the video guys and see in even in iOS you can see um, it happens very weird okay so this is normal scrolling behavior since everything is scrollable so if i add something in if i add this in app bar then this bottom part will be like behaving like uh, same way uh, like it behaves here 
so uh, this in iOS maybe it can be fixed only when we create a custom physics uh, uh, thing okay so for the for this video stuff uh, that's the output you are having right now and we are done with the UI of these two pages I, I think I suppose if there is something that I have missed I analyze later on so I will definitely cover it and uh, yeah so this is the end of the video and uh, please um, subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon so that you are never uh, missing the content that I am putting into the channel and uh, hit the like button if you like the video so we will uh, meet in the next video uh, that's it for it and uh, yeah